Bandana Grandma here, and we're back from our trip to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, where I did a lot of shopping. We went to thrift stores, we went to farmer's markets, we went to outlet shops, we went to lots of places, and I had a great time. I'm going to share with you what I bought. I'm going to start with the first place we went to, which was the Green Dragon. We went up on a Friday because the Green Dragon is only open on Fridays. The Green Dragon is a farmer flea market in Ephrata, Pennsylvania, and it's frequented by a lot of the locals. It, it's not just a tourist trap there. You see a lot of Amish people and Mennonites shopping there and selling. Now we're coming down into the village of Ephrata. And if you see up on the poles, there are banners that are honoring veterans, men and women, showing full photos and their discipline of service and the years of service. I think that's wonderful. So at the bottom of this hill where we go past drugstores and theaters and thrift stores and restaurants, we're going to take a right and go on a road that's going to take us about three miles down to where the Green Dragon is. Alright, I think coming down into, isn't it just down below this hill here? Yep, bottom of this hill is the Green Dragon. Mick says it's 120 miles from our home. And this is the Green Dragon. in the morning. These people got here early and they're leaving already. <laughs> That's true. Could just be putting stuff in the car. I, I send Mickey back many times with bags to put in the car while we're here.
So here I was walking down the side lanes of the Green Dragon, checking out all the vendors' tables, looking at their wares, when all of a sudden something interesting happened. Out popped a young Amish boy. He was somewhere between 12 and 14, I'd say. And I was going to turn my camera off, but he had his back to me, so I thought, I guess that's all right. And then this happened. This young Amish kid who's been stared at all, all his life because he dresses different saw something that made him do a double take and he turned completely around. I kept walking and my camera facing ahead so I passed him but when I glanced back he was still looking <laughs> so it was quite funny. That just tickled me. It made me laugh. Uh, this cultural clash that happened right there. <laughs> it was just too funny. The, the difference between these two was stark and, you know, in demeanor and dress. And it was just so interesting to see the reaction of that young boy when he turned around and was like, what in the world? <laughs> like he couldn't believe what he was seeing uh, in the difference of culture. It was, it was very interesting. It's fun to people watch. <laughs> As you can see, people came out. Some are wearing masks, some aren't.
I have this dish set at home. So at one of these tables, I found some sheets. And I had bought these kind of sheets before and I liked them very much, but they weren't quite deep enough for my, my deep mattress with a pillow topper on it. Uh, this bunch says that they're extra deep. So uh, hopefully these are gonna fit it better. They should, because the other one was just a little shy. Uh, now he told me these were bamboo sheets and it says metropolitan bamboo home and either he was fooling me or he was confused because right here it says ultra plush cotton so i believe these are nice cotton sheets but i don't think they're bamboo it says uh, bamboo home metropolitan bamboo home that's not the same thing as bamboo sheets so uh, but I did get these before and I like the feel of them if it's the same thing I think it is and it's pretty patterned kind of aquas and whites and taupe colors in there I like the I like the pattern so I'm gonna get these washed up and get them on my bed they say wrinkle free deep pocket to fit oversized mattresses and the manufacturer suggested retail price is $189. These were $20. There's no way in the world these were $189 sheets. I know that. But uh, for $20, bucks, I got a fitted sheet, a flat sheet, and a queen size, and four pillowcases. So I think that's great. Hopefully they're just as nice as the last ones I bought, which were Metropolitan Bamboo Home. Well, I washed and dried the sheets and I put them on my bed and now I'm going to give you a review of what I think. Here's the vinyl zippered bag they came in. I always love having these because I can reuse them for so many things. But I think it's a little deceiving. It says Metropolitan Bamboo Home, but it does say bamboo sheets. It says 1800 series, but is that to make people think it's an 1800 thread count? might be a little deceiving it says ultra plush cotton but the man told me they were bamboo and even the name makes you think they might be bamboo 
Now for the pros and cons of these sheets. Well, first of all, the price is amazing. You get six pieces for $20, a flat sheet, a fitted sheet, and four pillowcases, queen size. The second plus is they washed up like a dream. They are smooth, no wrinkles, and very soft, very comfortable. Third plus, I love the pattern, I love the colors, and they came through the wash just fine. Fourth plus is it does come with four roomy pillowcases, two in a print and two in a beautiful solid that matches beautifully, kind of a turquoise color. And now for the negative points. It's only printed on one side, so when you fold it back, it looks pretty faded. Two, they were cut skimpier than I was led to believe. I could not cover my side mattress, and I had to use sheet garters to hold down the corners. The corner seams on the sheets are 9 inches deep, and my mattress and pillow topper are a full 12 inches deep, with additional depth needed to tuck them under. I'm still not sure their composition because I don't think 100% cotton would be so wrinkle free and I don't think they're bamboo so maybe it's a combination or with a polyester mix. Conclusion, these are beautifully soft and comfortable sheets that wash well and are priced right. So if your mattress is 9 inches or less or you don't mind using garters to hold them down, these may work. I believe they're worth every penny of the $20. Even if I couldn't use them on my bed, I'd cut them up and make something out of them because it's a lot of very nice washable fabric. But if content is important to you, read the label and don't be fooled by tricky wording. Metropolitan Bamboo Home 1800 Series 6-Piece Sheet Set Ultra Plush Cotton selling for $20 in flea markets everywhere. I walked around some more. And I find I went to the place where you see them at all the flea markets. They have all these bins on the ground. For $1, $2, $3, $5, $7, all these different things in the bins. Household things, clothing, gloves, tools, all that kind of thing. And as I walked around and looked at those bins, I came across these hats and I love them. I like them as they are, but I also thought I could use this like a pattern to crochet a hat in a similar shape. I do something a little similar, but this was just different enough that I thought I'd like to try it. So I found these cloche hats. See how they have a brim here, but then they come down tight here, no brim in the back. And of course, I couldn't resist the polka dots. <laughs> so it has this chain here with this polka dot scarf type material going through. It has strawish, I don't think it's real straw, but you know, it's got the light blue and white here, off white, and then a navy uh, brim here. And inside, oops, inside it has two strings that you can use to tighten if you have a smaller head. I have a big head, so I doubt I'll be tightening it up. But there's the strings you can use to tighten it and it may fit it to size. So I just thought that was really cute. And you can, you know, if you like things certain shapes or rims in certain ways, you can like bend these and put a rubber band on them to hold them the way you want to bend them. You know, whichever you like. A cloche is more like this. And it has the little ribbons in the back. I just thought it was adorable. They were six dollars. For a hat, six dollars isn't bad. I tried to give him a hard time and make him give me a discount if I bought more than one because I also got a brown one. <laughs> <laughs> and this one, you can see it's tied in a bow. You can wear it that way as well, or with the streamers down the back. But they're darling. So I'm, I'm also going to use this like a pattern for sizing to uh, crochet a nice sturdy brimmed hat in this shape as well. And then I can put maybe bandanas around here. <laughs> so I thought these were adorable for six bucks. So Green Dragon, thank you very much. Now, at that same um, bin place where the guy had all his wares in bins, I found some aprons. 
Now, I had been up there once before and found similar bins and bought some aprons there that were only a, f a few dollars each. They were, they were such a good price, but they needed embellishment because um, these, I, I got bought one like this before. See, these are apples, really cute, but the strings are kind of chintzy. So what I did is I removed these and I make some real nice full red strings for around the waist and also around the neck. And I replaced these and embellished them and I put a nice big red ruffle on the bottom. That way you can have a bandana grandma embellished apron. It won't cost as much as if I make the full apron because the body of this is right here. I didn't have to make it. And I can embellish it and sell it at a good price. So I got one that was like this twill material. The rest of them are really cute, but they're more of a synthetic, it's, I don't want to say vinyl, because it's not really vinyl, it's probably a mix. I, it doesn't have any indication of what it's made out of, but they are super cute. And this one has teapots on it, it says tea time. It does have pockets, but this is, you know, this is just printed on. It's not sewn in, like here, this is just, this is all printed. And so it's the little flowers on the bottom. But it's adorable. So I'm gonna look these over. I need to make these strings longer because they're just too short. So I'll be replacing these strings with something better. And then I'll be offering them up on my Susie Bandana Facebook page at a good price because I was able to buy the body of them uh, inexpensively. So I can make them more affordable that way. I'll still make some of my own fully homemade aprons for those who want those, but let me show you what I got with these. I got this blue one. Then I got the same pattern print in this kind of violet purple, pinky, pinky violet purple. I got an orange one. It says tea time. Okay. Then I got this blue one, which says pie on it. Open that up. Looks like it's got a little collar there. It's all printed on though. There's a little baker pockets. Oh, and I forgot. I thought I had one twill and I got two. I also have this twill with the lines on it. And again, I'll be replacing these ties and this tie and putting a nice ruffle on the bottom before I offer them for sale. So I got 10 of those aprons. Good deal. So is that, oh, one more thing I got at Green Dragon. I got myself a dress and I always liked these type of dresses that have the embroidery on them, kind of monocolor, and it's princess seamed in the back, like that, and has a cinch tie in the back so it can pull it in a little so it doesn't look like a total bag. And it's it's a like a lightweight denim feeling material. I thought it was really pretty. This it's got lacy sleeves and some lace at the bottom, all dyed the same color as the fabric. And this was $16. At the Green Dragon Farmer's Market, I got some beautiful produce. They were huge. Uh, here's two, very, look at my hand, two very large heads of cauliflower. Now you can see I cut a little bit off that was starting to get a little spotted. But that's because it was in the car three days. When I bought them, they were pristine and perfect. So they were $2.50 a head or two for $5. Then this giant, nice, beautiful cabbage was $2. Or it might have been a dollar and a half. It was pretty cheap. I can't remember exactly. This giant butternut squash was $2. This daikon radish was a dollar and a half. You can use that as a substitute in many... Uh, potato meals. And then I got a bunch of these turnips for $1.75. So that's my haul from the Green Dragon Farmer's Market produce stand.
And here are the ceramic items I purchased in the Green Dragon Variety Store. They had 60% off everything in the store. And here is a mug from Gone with the Wind. And it was marked down to $1.50. I am going to couple this with the Gone with the Wind book that I found. And I'm going to put it on eBay and see if I can sell the two together and raise some money for my channel. Then here is a lovely corn flour sugar and creamer set that matches dishes I have. Very similar to what my mom had, if not the exact same thing my mom had. And they were 50 cents each. Great price. So I was thrilled to find them. I'll put them with my other dishes. And then when we set up our Thanksgiving tables, you know, we'll have more than one sugar and creamer to put on different tables. So it'll be great. Okay, I'm coming back because I realized in editing that I forgot to show you one of the items I bought at the Green Dragon. And that was this Amish made straw broom. Right here it says, all broom corn brooms. And it's made in Lancaster County. Made in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. So, it's an Amish made broom. Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. I needed a good sturdy broom. I have a flimsy one. And it was $17. And that concludes this portion, part two, of our super mega haul shopping trip for our 52nd wedding anniversary to the Pennsylvania Dutch Amish area of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We had a wonderful time. I've got so much more to show you with the shopping. I've got more flea markets, more thrift shops, my very favorite Mennonite thrift shop, the Reuse It thrift shop. It's wonderful. Uh, Zinc's Fabric Outlet. Wonderful. I found a discount grocery store. Wonderful. That was all really good. And serendipitously, while driving around lost on the back roads, we came across a Mennonite community yard sale. I did so well there. So I'm going to show you that in future videos. So this is part two. Watch for part three shortly, and there'll be several after that as well. Don't forget to like my videos, please. That helps you more than anything else if you just hit that like button. See, you, yeah, you, right down there, there's a like button. Or if you don't see one there, back out of one screen on your phone, you'll see the like, hit it, come on back in. And that will really help Bandana Grandma's channel. Thank you for that. Tell your friends, share the video. I love you all. God bless you real good. Bye-bye.